Grass Mountain, also known as the Peak of Vancouver, is located just 20 minutes outside the city. It's open year-round, and it's fun. So our first activity here on Grouse Mountain is zip lining. Now I've zip lined before, but this is a little bit different setup, Chris. Uh, completely different to a lot of places around the world. No, uh, no oven glove or bamboo pole or anything like that. <laughs> Fully automatic system. So, all right, up you come, John. Just watch your head when you stand up on here. It feels good. It's like all sitting right. in a harness and like in a chair. <laughs> Perfect. All right, off we go. Woo! See you down there. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> Okay, perfect. Line number two here. Uh, we're starting to get into the good stuff, okay? This line, it's a lot longer, it's a lot steeper than that first one. We're basically going to end up going a lot faster. <laughs> oh my gosh, how beautiful is this? So I mentioned that we've ziplined before yep. in different places, but the harness is completely different. Yep. The stopping is completely different. And sure taking is. a chair to our next zipline, yep. I love it. This line is about 1,200 feet long, and you, if you're going fast enough, you can reach up to speeds of 80 kilometers an hour down here. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for an exhilarating afternoon. What's up next on our tour of Grouse Mountain? What should we see? Right behind us, the eye of the wind. Mm -hmm. You get some insane 360 degree views of the city and the mountains around us, so I definitely recommend heading up there. Meet Ian. He's gonna tell us about this impressive wind turbine. It's not a windmill, what's the difference? Windmill makes bread, wind turbine makes power. This makes power, makes power. This is super cool. First one of its kind in the world to actually have both a passenger elevator and a viewing platform on there. So accessible to the public, super easy for anyone to get to from two to 200. These are the coastal mountains here that are actually a subset. Uh, they're called the North Shore Mountains. Uh, so these big ones that we have in back, it's called uh, Cathedral. And then the one in front of it is uh, Mount Coliseum. And it's as rugged as you get. And then the view of Vancouver. Absolutely gorgeous, eh? Yeah, it's probably the best view in the city. I don't think you can get anywhere else better. 